Hi chemistry students, today uh, we are going to be talking about how to calculate average atomic mass and um, so you should have your notes, your notebook out wherever you write important information about chemistry um, and a calculator would be very very helpful for you. So um, let's get right to it on how to calculate average atomic mass. You may notice that when we get, we look on the periodic table and we talked about this a little bit yesterday, you have, um, uh, let's say we have carbon here and we've got this average atomic mass down here. Now that average atomic mass is a decimal um, and the reason why it is a decimal is it is a what we call a weighted average and um, so let's talk about what a weighted average is and, and by the end of today you're going to know how to calculate your own average atomic masses um, for any element on the periodic table. Now what a weighted average means is that we have um, different isotopes and these different isotopes um, have per different percent abundance. And what percent abundance is all about is percent abundance tells us um, how much, how often we find um, these um, these isotopes out in nature. And yesterday we did talk about isotopes, and you do hopefully remember that those isotopes are the same atom, same number of protons, but we have different number of neutrons. And so those are what isotopes are all about. Okay, so um, let's take a look at a problem here that um, we can do to help us um, do this calculation and uh, then you're going to be doing some of these problems yourself here. So um, let's say we have, we have um, four isotopes given to us here and we have an isotope of iron 54, iron 56, I iron 57, and iron 58. And we learned yesterday in class how to write shorthand notation or isotope notation for each one of these and we learned what these what they mean so hopefully you know that these are four isotopes and each one of these isotopes has a different number of neutrons but the same number of protons and the same symbol of iron which is Fe. So what we're gonna do is we we're gonna be asked to calculate the average atomic mass for this um, this element. Now we're given, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we're given a couple different um, values. We're given um, the atomic mass for this isotope, which, which this first one is 54, and we're also given a percentage. And you notice these percentages look like they probably all add up to 100 and they do. This percentage is called a percent abundance. So here's our percent abundance. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take our average atomic mass, which is 54 for this guy, and we're going to multiply it by its percent abundance. Now the trick is, if you remember from math class, when you multiply um, a percentage, you have to turn it back into a decimal. And the way you turn it into a decimal is you take this decimal and you're going to move it one, two places to the left. Move it two places to the left, we're going to have to put a zero in front of it. We're essentially dividing it by 100. So this is going to become point zero. Five, eight, and we're going to multiply those two values together and we're going to get an answer. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take its mass and we're going to multiply it by 91.7 percent. Move that decimal two places to the right, or excuse me, to the left, one, two, and we're going to get 0.917 and we get an answer. Same thing is going to happen here. 57 multiplied by 0.917. 022, moving that decimal two paces to the left, and here 58 multiplied by point zero zero three, and we're going to get an answer there as well. Okay, so I've grabbed my calculator now, and I'm going to I'm going to start doing these calculations. So I got 54 multiplied by point zero five eight, and I come up with an answer here of three. 0.132. Do the next one here, 56 multiplied by 0.917. I come up with an answer of 51.352. Uh, 
Next one, 57 multiplied by 0 0.022. I get 1.254. And the last one, 58 multiplied by 0 0.003. And I get an answer of 0 0.174. So now I have four what we call weighted averages. And what we're going to take with these is we're going to just add all of them up together. And that will give me my average atomic mass. So I'm going to multiply this, or sorry, I'm going to add. Um, 3.132 by 51.3, and I'm going to use all the decimals as well. Let me get this real quick here. And so I come up with an answer here um, of 55.912. The unit that we're going to use with this, and we are, you can use either one, um, is the unit called AMU, which means atomic mass unit, or we can throw in the unit of grams per mol, which are called moles, and we'll get to that later. Either one of these units is okay to use um, on an average atomic mass calculation. Now one of the things I can do to check my work and make sure I've done everything right is I can go ahead and look on the periodic table, and you should have a periodic table out, and I can look at iron Iron is atomic number 26 right in the middle of the periodic table. And I look at iron and I check its average atomic mass. It says iron's got an average atomic mass of 55.85. I got 55.9. I'm really, really close, so I think I've done this problem correctly. If you're off, um, then you probably want to double check your answers. But I think I'm, I've got this one really close because I'm really in the ballpark on this. Let's do one more problem here, and uh, then I'm going to give you some practice problems to do by yourself. OK, so we're back. now. Um, we have this problem here, which is it's exactly the same type of problem. Um, they're just giving it to us in a slightly different format. So it says, what is the average atomic mass of silver? And um, if 51.84% of silver atoms have a mass of 106.905 and 48.16 of them have a mass of 108.95. Now, um, so we only have two isotopes of silver to deal with, and so again what we're going to do is first off we're going to take our mass here, and they're giving us something with a decimal, so we're going to go ahead and use that decimal, and we're going to take 106.905, and then we're going to multiply it by its percentage. Now the percentage on this guy is uh, 51.85, so we're going to go ahead and use that, 51.84, I'm sorry, percent. Now I just forgot to do something, didn't I? I forgot to convert this to a decimal, so let me erase the percentages off, and I'm going to move this decimal two places to the left, um, and I'm going to put that decimal right out in front like that, and I'm going to get an answer. Then I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to take my mass of 108.905. It's got a decimal, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to multiply it by, um, I'm going to move that decimal once again on that percentage there. Um, we're going to call it point four eight one six and I'm gonna get two answers and then I'm gonna add these two answers up so let me go ahead and do that on my calculator right now so I got 106.905 multiplied by 0.5184 and I'm getting an answer there of 55 I'm gonna round it off call it 55.4 and then I'm gonna do the next one 108.905 multiplied by 0.4816 and I'm getting an answer there of 52.4 and then I'm going to add those two together so I'm going to get 55.4 plus 52.4 and I get an answer of 107.8 AMUs or, or we could write grams per mole. Either one works. Now, remember that this is silver that we're dealing with, two, with two isotopes. So I'm going to go ahead and double check my answer. And I'm going to look up on the periodic table um, silver. And silver is atomic number 47 on the periodic table. And I'm going to check that average atomic mass down at the bottom for silver, which is 107.87. Um, I got 107.8. Hey, I'm in the ballpark. I'm good. I've just done the average atomic mass of silver. So now, um, our guest teacher here is going to give us uh, all uh, worksheet to work on, and, and you're going to have to um, go through this, and you're going to have to make sure that you calculate your average atomic masses correctly. Um, 
Again, the biggest mistake students make is they forget to slide the percentage decimal two places to the left. Always slide it to the places to the left, even if you have a small number like um, you know, 0.3%, still slide it two places to the left and throw some zeros in front of it. Hope you guys all have a good day. Um, your job is to finish front and back of this worksheet, um, and it'll be all due tomorrow. If you don't finish in class, you're going to have to finish it for homework. Have a fantastic day, ladies and gentlemen.